Over the past three weeks, our travels have come to a sudden halt. Our plans to head down the Pacific Coast Highway have just all of a sudden stopped. Because of our laptop still being in the shop, we've been boondocking, camping, and trying to stay dry in this northwest weather in the Seattle area. But today, I found a little spot, a little glimpse of sunshine, where we left the RV and headed to the farm. JC was running the other day and ran right past this place and thought it would be a really cool idea to come see. But Chase has no idea where we're going. I see it's going to be a farm. Oh, I see a farm right now. Welcome to Sprout Farms, miniature donkey. Maybe. We're gonna see some miniature donkeys, buddy. I'm a... You guys can video. Her and under are uh, micro minis. Okay. And then anything above that is a regular mini. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna come in. They're gonna come in. So I'm just gonna forewarn you that one's probably gonna try to go through your legs. Okay. Just let her go. And then because you're taller than me, so she won't knock you. Okay. And they, uh... So look at, so she's gonna have a baby. In a couple months, and she's gonna have a baby in a couple months. Hello. <laughs> You're a lot friendlier than the uh, the other burros that we met. Yes. The uh, the other ones tried to. They were just way more aggressive. <laughs> yes. it, uh, if you didn't give them treats, they would uh, kind of stomp at you, or he'd, oh, they'd try to yeah. nudge them off the sidewalk. Oh yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Good manners, and so they're kind of different. They're so sweet. Mm -hmm. Princess Piggy Smalls. Hold this treat and then tell her to dance. Say so you need to dance. dance. Piggy Small, do your dance. There she goes. <laughs> she does a dance for you. See? And this is Denny. So these are the third smallest deer in the world. So boys have horns and you see his fangs? Yeah. Very manly. Wow. Very manly. There's two smaller. There's a um, dick dick and a mouse deer. And, like they're really, really Wow. Funny, so yeah. So cute. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> She's like the funniest thing ever. And two months ago when we got her, you couldn't touch her. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I'll help you. I'll help you. Okay, there we go. There we go. So fun. She's so entertaining and she's literally been chased and it gives her exercise. So I'm like, that's okay. You go ahead and chase him. Don't you want to give him a And you can just give it to him. He won't bite or anything. He doesn't really have it. The fangs look mean, but they're not at all. There you go. He's super nice. So they like being scratched under here. Hi, you can bed, boy. rescued him. He was actually at the Mexican border and uh, he was at, um, at an auction and we follow a rescue group. And listen, not really people have ever seen this day. This is Apollo. Hello. <laughs> there you go. Flat hand, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Hi buddy. And they are dirty and muddy and we got, Ma this is Mr. Marty. So this is Apollo. This is Marty. Hi, Marty. Hi, Apollo. Okay, we're just gonna let him lick mine because he's weird. I don't know why he does this, but. <laughs> and then here comes Gideon. So this is, he just turned two in October. Wow. And he's doing amazing. So he was not gonna make it, but he's doing good. And then bringing up the rear, where's Bubba? He's my old guy. He's gonna be 22. Oh my gosh. But they live till about 35 to 40. So. Okay. There he is. Come here, old man. He's like, I'm. I'm, I'm so oh. what, do you, what do you think about the animals? Really? They cool. demand attention. You, sure. you want to move on to a farm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. Doesn't matter which. Nope. Well done. He's going to engulf your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, oh, mm. Copper got it, so that's okay. Yeah. All right, let's go see the babies. Oh, you guys can come back and 
spring when it's pretty and dry. Oh, they're so cute. So this is Mama. Yeah. And then, so this is, okay, this one. There's somebody that bought all three of these babies. So this is Bubbles. We got Nugget. And then this is Weasley. And she's a good girl, huh? Yeah. She stays out here with the, you know, the mamas and babies. And, but this is where her spine, it's like an S. <laughs> These guys are so funny. Okay, squat down. Okay, turn this way so your dad can see it. Squat down. No, put your hands out like that. <laughs> now they're going to come up again. <laughs> but you got to hold it. See, watch. Watch these ducks, they're crazy. Do you see that? Again, you wanna try that? Okay, put your hands together. Alright, squat down, I'm gonna put my hands underneath. <laughs> there you go, good job! Listen, it's our favorite thing. Weird. It's kinda gross, but it's weird. What do you think? Wanna get some eggs? Okay. Whoa, what are those? You can take them. Are you bringing home a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. We're gonna, we're gonna hold our wing down. Grab on, yep. There you go. And that is Hennifer. She's the nicest chick we got. And the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe. Alrighty. Cool. You got it? <laughs> Is it stuck in your pocket? Take your hand off of it. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. You gotta dig them out of your pouch. <laughs> Alright, we just left Sprout Farms, the miniature donkeys, and I was expecting two donkeys. It was so much more. There were, it was like this very, very cute farm. There was and... Clydesdales, <laughs> there was a zebra, ducks and chickens. Uh, deer, little mini deer. Deer. Little and... pot belly pig. Yeah, a donkey that was, I've ne I didn't know donkeys could be that loud. <laughs> oh, it was, uh, I think it was really cool. I think it was well worth the stop. It, the. Uh, uh, the young lady that we met was tremendously just very informative, uh, more than willing to share, you know, her passion for animals, specifically miniature, miniature donkeys. Um, we learned how much a miniature donkey costs um, at her farm, which I was surprised. It's only 2500 bucks. Um, as of now. As of now. <laughs> yeah, prices could go up. Um, it, uh, you know, I, she, she does it for the love of the animals, which was really refreshing to see because you can tell how well um, their animals are taken care of. It's, it's not in there for... Yeah, it's a, it's a well-established facility. This place was super nice, even though it was it just is muddy because it rains here all the time. But the uh, I would say one of the things that I... I wasn't very excited about the donkeys, to be honest with you, because we just met burros and wild donkeys, and I thought that was crazy. But I really, I kind of want to own a zebra now. <laughs> uh, yes, so the zebra was super uh, friendly as well. And when they first got it, um, she said that it was not friendly. And that just goes to show how much love they give these animals. Yeah, which is really cool. Do you think she just let him watch uh, the movie um, Madagascar? Madagascar. <laughs> and that's what made him friendly. Uh, uh, you know, because he was named easy. after. He was named after. You know, I'm guessing named after the movie Madagascar, right? But now we are headed back to Tacoma, Washington, to pick up our laptop, which has stranded us here in the beautiful state of Washington for far too long. It has absolutely just extended our trip, which we've gotten to see some cool stuff and got to touch some of our dreams. Chase's dream of owning chickens. What do we got? Oh, 
And it's our dream of owning a yacht. So this is where you drive the boat. Um, we've gotten to do quite a bit here, uh, which I'm thankful for. Um, but at the same time, I'm excited to get my computer back so I can edit more videos for you, the audience. This kind of pause in our trip has changed our plans a bit. But we have been back and forth on what to do because we are so restricted on time um, between now and then we have Christmas coming up and then um, JC's ultra marathon. So we have been faced with challenges. Well, right. so <laughs> the original plan was to, to visit our family for Thanksgiving in California and then after Thanksgiving drive as fast and as far north as possible, see kind of the middle of Oregon, the middle of Washington for a couple days and then head straight to the Pacific Coast Highway and then make our way down to San Jose so I could run the ultra marathon on December 31st. Well, when you throw in four weeks of waiting for your computer to get repaired, we only have like, honestly, like seven days to get from the top of Washington all the way down to the middle of California. And it's just not gonna be enough time to really do that trip justice. So our plan is now to drive in the opposite direction and go spend some more time with family for the Christmas holiday. Correct. Wait out the, the week after, run the race in San Jose, and then drive back up north because we're having to store our trailer in Washington. We'll pick up the trailer, then we'll head to the beach, and then we'll give you a full breakdown of, of the Pacific Coast Highway and, and do it justice. I think yes. I think that's I think that's our ultimate goal is to do that justice. And I, I mean, I, it's a beautiful area. There's so much to do. There's so much to explore. There's there's no reason to rush it if we have this opportunity to, you know, kind of make things happen without rushing it. So that's what we're that's what we decided to do. Um, so yeah, so we got a full day of driving tomorrow. Yeah, which is you know it took us like three days to get up to Washington and we're gonna drive back in one day. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice fun 11 and a half hour drive tomorrow, which I'm not too excited about. All right, we're about to drop off the old rig. All right, kind of a kind of a sad day to uh, to park the old rig. And I was looking at it, I was like, oh, a couple Outbacks. That one's way nicer than ours, but it. Uh, hopefully everything goes well. Make sure everything is locked, secured, like my new uh, cover for my uh, electric hitch. Propane's off, batteries unplugged, doors are unlocked. Tires are chalked, really secured, slides in. It's kind of sad because this is not how we wanted to uh, to go about our our journey. But when life gives you lemons, make a lemon drop. <laughs> can't go straight to booze. I was thinking about making lemonade, but you know, it's here nor there. So we're gonna leave the trailer for a couple weeks. Go visit with some family for Christmas, run a 100 mile race, and be back up here in two weeks. Hopefully this is the beginning to lots of adventures. Are you excited, Chase? Making cookies for Santa. <gasps> Do you think he's gonna like them? Yeah, because uh, Grandma Jan messed with one, and that's, <laughs> and that's definitely gonna be mine. 
Because I love that horse. It's like a space. Is that good? this What does it look like? A phone. kick. Put on bunny hop. No, oh, you didn't land it that time. Come on. There you go. Oh. That won't let me go any further. Oh no! <laughs> 99 miles. <laughs> A little camp. Yes, we have. We kind of created our own little aid station here. And that's what you're sitting in right now. <laughs> okay. Um, we are um, going to be kind of camped out here. It's a yeah. little mile. It's a little. It's a about a mile loop um, for 100 miles. So we will be here all night long. But it is a perfect setting because we were able to come in and set up um, a tent and a chair right along the trail that he will pass by us every single time. So that's gonna be super helpful, especially once we get to the colder temperatures and um, night fall. And I'm sleeping in Diesel's bed. <laughs> yeah, we got a little cot set up for Chase, so um, it should be a good night. Uh, a bit unsuccessful and got 61 miles um, ran my fastest marathon did. time and then 61 miles in 15 hours pretty good and I'm not gonna walk for two days well just arrived here in beautiful Olympia Washington and we're home we just got on to the Pacific Coast Highway Highway 101, we finally made it. Because as we woke up this morning, um, well, we uh, have some water, water pump issues, and I have no idea how to fix that. <laughs> 